Hey, welcome back. It's Nolan Matthias from Merge 360, and today we are discussing three ways to pay down your mortgage faster in 2021. Yes, the new year is approaching, and it is time to start thinking about how to manage our finances better. And there are three easy ways to do that with a mortgage, which I'm going to discuss in this video, including my favorite one at the very end. But before we get into it, do me that favor, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. I'll answer those as quickly as they show up. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's talk about how to pay off your mortgage faster in 2021. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide you a few tips and strategies on how to do this as quickly as possible. And ultimately what we're gonna do is we're gonna make small tweaks to your mortgage so that over time, as we continue to make those tweaks over the years to come, we have a snowball effect, which ends up paying off your mortgage significantly faster than you ever thought possible. So what are the ways that we can start paying off your mortgage faster? Well, the first thing that we're gonna recommend that you do is change your payment frequency. Now, most people use either a monthly or a bi-weekly payment frequency. Sometimes the bi-weekly payment, even though it is perceived to almost always be something that pays off your mortgage faster, isn't accelerated. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna make wanna make sure that our payments are actually accelerated. So if we have bi-weekly, we want to make sure that they are accelerated bi-weekly. And what I'm going to recommend is that actually most people go to a weekly payment. And the reason why is because weekly payments are simply more manageable. What we find is that when clients go to a weekly payment and ourselves, we've gone to a weekly payment, it's a small chunk of money every single week. And it ultimately makes managing the mortgage payments along with other payment obligations more manageable. Now, how do you know if your payments are accelerated? Well, it's really simple. Go back, find your original mortgage documents, or go back and figure out your original mortgage amount. Figure out what the monthly payment would be, so you can do that by going into a mortgage calculator, and then divide it by two. If your bi-weekly payment is exactly half of what your monthly payment was, it is accelerated. If it is less than half, it is not. Now for weekly payments, what you wanna do is take that monthly payment and divide it by four. And if your weekly payment is exactly one fourth of what your monthly payment would be, it's accelerated. If it's a little bit less, again, it's not. So set up that payment so that it is exactly half or exactly one fourth of what your monthly payment is. And that will knock on a 25 year amortization, three to four years off of your amortization right out of the gate. It's the easiest thing that you can do in order to both set up a faster payment schedule and also make it easier to manage your money on a weekly basis rather than on a bi-weekly or a monthly basis. Now, the second thing that we recommend people do is get into a habit every year of increasing their payments by just a little bit. Now, most mortgages come with a 15 to 20% payment increase option. If you've got a variable rate mortgage, you can often do a 100% payment increase. And what we recommend is that you take advantage of that in some way, shape, or form. Now, if your monthly payment situation is tight, maybe only increase it by a percent or two. But if you've got the ability to increase your payments by five or 10%, we highly recommend that you do that every year. Now, we've done this in the past. There's actually a video uh, that I'll link up here about our big mortgage mistake. It was when we used this type of prepayment privilege to accelerate our payments and we did a, little, did a little bit too fast. So obviously make sure that you aren't increasing your payments by too much. And I'll tell you at the end how you can protect yourself against that. But by doing something as simple as increasing your payments by 15% every year, you can really knock a lot of time off of your mortgage. So for us, we originally had a 30 year amortization and what we were doing was we were increasing our payment by 15% every year and we did it for three years. And after three years, we'd basically taken our 30 year amortization down to an 11 year amortization. Now we didn't have what I'm gonna tell you about in the end of the video set up in order to make this safe. So we ended up actually getting ourselves into a little bit of financial trouble, but if done right and if done well, using this type of prepayment privilege and increasing your payment by up to 45% over a three year period can actually be a really good tool to get your mortgage paid off really fast. Now, the third tool that we recommend is to use your lump sum payments. And there's lots of ways you can use a lump sum payments. But basically, your lump sum payment option is the ability to make a 15 or 20% payment without penalty every single year. Some lenders will allow you to do this only once a year on the anniversary date. Some lenders will let you do it throughout the year as long as each payment's at least $100. But we definitely recommend that people at least once a year take advantage of this prepayment privilege. And the easiest way to do that if you're an RSP investor is to take your RSP refund that you get or your tax refund that you get and simply apply it to your mortgage at tax time. Now, other ways that you can do this is taking bonuses and applying them to your mortgage or taking additional funds that you receive from 
you know, side hustles or secondary jobs and applying it to your mortgage. But what most people don't realize is just how much of an impact using this lump sum payment can have. So most people don't realize that if you use just your 20% prepayment privilege every single year, you can actually pay off your mortgage in 4.2 years. Most people aren't going to use 20% prepayment privileges, but let me show you what it does at even lesser amounts because it still has a big impact. So if you were to pay off every year 10% of your mortgage, you'd pay off your mortgage in 7.2 years. And if you were to pay off 5% every year using your lump sum payments, you'll pay off your mortgage in 11 years. And get this, if you use only your lump sum payments to make a 2.5% payment every single year on your mortgage, you'll pay off your mortgage in 15 years. So you'll take a 25 year amortization from 25 years down to 15 years by using your lump sum payments to pay off just two and a half percent of your mortgage every year. So most people, if you can afford a $400,000 mortgage, can afford to make a $10,000 lump sum payment every year. And we highly recommend that you take advantage of this. Now, if you take your accelerated mortgage payments and you combine them with increasing your mortgage payment and your lump sum payments, really what I'm trying to get across in this video is that you can take out a mortgage a lot quicker than you ever thought possible. A mortgage doesn't have to be a 25 to a 30 year debt sentence. If you just take advantage every single year of little tiny tweaks to your mortgage, you can really pay it off quicker. And that's what we're trying to get people in the habit of doing with this video is by looking at their mortgage every single year and going, what little tweak can I make? Can I accelerate my payments? Can I maybe increase my payments just a little bit, even though it doesn't necessarily feel super comfortable to do that? I can guarantee you that if you increase your payments by 5%, next year when you go to look at it again, you will not even realize that you increased your payment by 5% in the previous year. And then taking that 2.5% and, and focusing on just paying off that little bit extra every single year can really take out a mortgage super quickly. Now I did mention that in the past we have made the mistake of accelerating our payment a little bit too fast. So here's what I want to recommend is if you are the type of person who isn't necessarily going to take your money and invest it but the type of person who wants to pay off the mortgage and get out of their debt faster, I'm going to recommend a certain type of product to you and it is called a Scotia Step product. And what the Scotia Step product allows you to do is once you've gotten to the point where you only owe 80% of the value of your property, you can put what's called a readvancing line of credit on your mortgage. And what that does is as you accelerate the payments of your mortgage, you get a line of credit that becomes available to you that's equal to the amount of principal that you've paid down. And what that does is it allows you to take all of your cash, increase your payments, do as much as you possibly can in order to pay out your mortgage as fast as possible while also having the added protection of having a line of credit to, available to you if you go too quick. And back in the day when we made our big mortgage mistake, and again, I'll link that video up here, that product would have saved our skin by making sure that we had access to the principal that we had paid off in advance. So once again, I highly recommend that once you get to 80% loan to value, take a look at a Scotia Step product. Another nice thing about the Scotia mortgages is if you use what's called a double up payment, which is an added feature that they allow over and above normal prepayment privileges, is if you use that double up payment in the future, if you ever need to, you can also choose to skip a payment. So another way to pay off your mortgage and leave yourself with a little bit of safety if you pay it off a little bit too quickly. So those are my recommendations for 2021 and in order to pay off your mortgage faster. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and hit that like button again so more people like you can see this video. And leave me your questions and comments about paying your mortgage off in advance. Do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? And what are the best strategies you've heard in order to pay off your mortgage quicker? We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.